Hello again. Um, now I'm going to, uh, I've drawn out all the laden couch work areas. I've drawn around the pony. Um, well, it's a unicorn really. And I've cut it out and drawn around after pinning it out. And I've put a couple of pictures online to show you that. So I'm going to use a 10 inch frame. Um, this is what I used for Isabella's stocking, which I made about three years ago. So uh, I know that I can do it. <laughs> I know I can do it on that size. So I'm just going to take some um, old uh, cling film or saran wrap and I'm just going to pop that over the outer frame. And then I'm just going to look at where I want to stitch, which is not the top at all of, of the cuff, but all this lattice work here. So I'm going to pop that over the top and if you just hold the edge of the stocking there then you can judge where to put that onto the frame so that will go remember this is the widest bit of the stocking now so that will go there and i'll just flip it down and just fold it out now you can can i just ask you to check for me richard is, is that enclosed in the frame just a minute Yes, I think it's... <laughs> yes, I forgot you've got to keep following me with the yes, camera, haven't yes, you? Yes, it is. I can hold it a bit lower. That's all right. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay, so I'll put it back on the table. Right, okay. So now you take your inner frame and I'm going to use a, a barrel clamp for inside the house and I'm going to use a seat frame base uh, in the garden. So uh, that's for... I'll use the barrel clamp in your shed if you like, Richard, as well. I can steal your workspace along <laughs> with everything else I steal. Right, okay, so you take the um, stalk and you point it down because obviously if you had it pointed up, you would probably hit yourself in the face and then you just push that down really hard. And I show this on so many video clips online. So just make sure that it's fairly level when it goes down. Now, if you do have a paddle or if you could use anything else at all, a piece of wood, I'm sure you've got some sort of implement at home and just squash that down. Then I've never actually broken a frame, but I did once break a table <laughs> in some village hall in the middle of Yorkshire. But um, that is, in my view, the very best way of getting an absolutely drum type frame. And if you just want to take it towards your body and just make sure that it's straight so you can see by looking at the lines on here whether or not um, you've got your linen on straight so if you just run your finger around you'll see I've got a couple of little dips there that's very unusual for me and I'll just straighten it so you hold one side and if you just get hold of the linen that you want to straighten and just pull it against your body that is the easiest way I don't have a great grip um, but you can just fiddle on with that to your heart's content. So I don't take it off with a screwdriver or I don't ever use a screwdriver actually. I'm so clumsy I end up bleeding all over the linen but you'll find that this uh, saran wrap or cling film will just help that slip onto the frame and then as usual you just cut out the bit you're going to work by just taking the back of your scissors across like that and get rid of that and I'm going to next do laden couch work over these areas up and down so <clears throat> coming up here down there up here down there up here down there just going backwards and forwards across the shape and I'm going to work the whole of this direction first and then when I get down to here I'm going to actually have to leave threads so it's not something I normally do leaving threads hanging but we are um, determined to use up all these threads so I'm probably going to leave some threads hanging to work the next area but actually if you want to section off the areas you could actually work this dark blue at the top and then change when you change your frame and that seems jolly sensible so maybe we'll do that 